Hey guys, Anthony, 4B4 Diesel. If you watched any of our recent videos, or it might be before or after this one, there's one where a car does a UE in front of me. Bit of excitement, but anyway, what I wanted to talk to you about in this video is um, about the rattles um, and when you should worry about it and when you shouldn't. There's your uh, parts kits, injector kits, getting picked up on the way to you. But anyway, yeah, just done the uh, afternoon drop, and yeah, I just, I did notice in the 120 here, and all the injectors and everything are in really good condition. Actually, no, they're not picking up your parts, your injector kits. The, um, that's just the, uh, another guy will be coming in a red van. I've got a suspicion any minute, because he's due in about, well, he's due already. That's why I thought, oh, the Star Trek, I think that's part of Australia Post, but... Ah, look at this, see? Eh? There he is, the, the man with the red van. Coming to pick up your drop it off, he picks it up. Boof, it's on the way to you. You'll get it tomorrow, hopefully. Express post, most places. Anyway, back on topic, the rattles. So the, what I thought of that I should mention to you is, yeah, the 120, it's in perfect mechanical condition. Um, and it's and the injectors, they're less than a year old and it's still got the rattles now not always and that's what i thought i'd mention to you um, so if you've got for example and this i suppose is a little bit relevant to all diesels but in general um, let's use the 120 as an example so if you haven't got your injectors replaced any time recently then it is probably a problem and something to worry about and you need to take action on um, but if you're one of those people that's done the right thing and you've had your injectors replaced in the last six, 12 months, two years, three years, it's probably not anything to worry about. And that's why I'm, I look at my, uh, you know, the app here on the 3210 and look at the load reading when I come to a stop at the lights here, like you see, because I'm not in a hurry. So he raced up, used all his fuel, used his brakes and whatever other wear and tear unnecessarily. And we didn't, but anyway, that's another story. So. There we are, checking our load reading at the lights with the engine at full operating temp, and it's all normal, as we said on the 120 Pro, it's about 11, about 11, 11, 12, sort of thereabouts, it's going to be higher until it warms up, but my point is, that's one of your main readings, so if you see that's okay all the time, and you do a diagnostic once a year or something like that, let's take it to someone that knows what they're doing with the right equipment, that can read the readings, I can do it in no time because I'm very familiar with these vehicles. It's a bit harder if you're working with lots of different vehicles because there's so many different parameters and numbers and this one and that one and variables, right? So it's easy to get a misdiagnosis. So what I'm saying is if you've got the rattles and you've done the right thing, then it's nothing to worry about. You know, look at the load, yeah, it's good. Or get a diagnostic once a year, it's good. It's winter, guys, okay? So at the moment, the outside air temperature is 15 in Melbourne. That's about as warm it's going to get for the next three months or something. You know, something along those lines. Pretty well, give or take a few degrees and maybe a, a few weeks. But um, I don't want you to worry about it and go, oh, you know, you're about, you know, you need it replacing. If you haven't done it, then yes, you need to do it. But if you've done it, don't worry about it. Now, if it's really bad and you've got an issue, certainly get it into us or someone to check it out properly. And you should do that at least once a year anyway. Just have a quick check. Get your vehicle checked over. Get them to plug in and do a diagnostic, if you know what I mean. So um, that's one side of it. That's the 120 Prado or Hilux is up until, you know, around about ninth month, 09. Now, any 150 Prados or similar vintage um, Hiluxes, you know, from about September 09 through to when they ended 1KDs in 2015 in Australia, roughly about then. Um, they shouldn't make any noise, okay? So if you hear, they should be quiet. Generally, the 150 Prados are quiet. Now, the Hiluxes, they can make a bit more noise. They haven't, it's not a luxury vehicle. They haven't got the same insulation, sound deadening type arrangement. So beware, if you've got a 150 Prado, if you've had your injectors replaced and the job's been done right with the right parts, it's not gonna make any noise for a long time. And even, and this is the problem, even the older ones that have done the Ks, they don't make any noise even when there is a problem okay so get them replaced based on averages and once you've done that it shouldn't make any noise if you've got a 150 Prado and it's making noise rattles knocks anything like that certainly it shouldn't happen so what I'm trying to say is on the 120s they make a bit of noise even when everything's perfect okay 
worse in cold conditions. And sometimes, so when the engine's stone cold, it's going to be worse. And sometimes mid temp, so you drive the car, get it up to full temp, park it for 10 minutes, drive again. It can make some horrid knocks, okay? Um, if everything's right, as in you've replaced your injectors and your load and your other readings look okay, nothing to worry about. Don't be panicking, worrying about it, and trying to analyze it. I don't care about the feedback values unless they go quite high at full operating temp or your injectors haven't been replaced, right? Anyway, guys. I didn't promise that one was going to be short, but I'm about done. I just wanted to say, really, don't worry too much about the rattles, but understand those few factors. I'm going to say it again. If it's a 120, it's going to make some noise, even if you've replaced your injectors. So don't worry. If you haven't replaced them, then you need to take action. A 150 Prado shouldn't be making any noise. All the other vehicles that we don't work on, you'll have to talk to someone else because we don't work on them. But I would suggest that some vehicles are just noisy, some engines are noisy, and some aren't. So you really need to be specific to those models. I know it's hard to find a specialist in any particular area of those vehicles, like, I don't know, a Ford Ranger specialist, or a Nissan Navara specialist, or a Patrol, Nissan and Patrol specialist. I mean, Patrol and bloody Navara. You know what I mean, anyway. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope that's helped. Just relax. If you've done the job in the last few years, and your load reading's okay, I'm pretty happy to say just relax and you think, unless you think it's something really bad. But it's that time of the year, trying to put your mind at rest before it happens, or you might be just thinking of it right now. As I said, I was thinking of it myself with this vehicle. I heard, I went, oh, that's noisy, is that right? And then I went, oh, that's right, it's winter, it's cold, um, and um, that's what you get. And then I take a look at the load reading and I go, happy days, okay? This vehicle, the diagnostic hasn't been plugged in for about a year, and it's the usual. It gets checked about once a year. Um, we'll check it again soon. All right, guys. Apparently, um, uh, the speed limit's not enough for this bike, but anyway, you get that. Um, use up some fuel. If you haven't already, subscribe, turn the bell on, give us a thumbs up if you got something out of that, and a comment for ideas for what you want to see in the next videos. Thanks for watching. See ya.